you know, after July 4th week, uh, you come back, and this is where it really gets exciting. This is when you see, you know, the season is fastly approaching. You got camp coming up. There's a sense, uh, a renewed sense of urgency. Uh, there's an excitement, and now you can kind of see it. I think in May and June, you kind of, you know, you know it's coming. But after the fourth, you really get a feel for hey, football is, is, is on its way and we yeah, got to be prepared. They need to drop the tiles there because everybody's still asleep while we out here grinding. Yes, sir. I ain't taking no yesterday. Got that They're running out the way, man. The it's time to go move this weight. All right, so Tanner, you can talk straight to the camera. Yeah, so today's workout was a bruiser. It really, I really loved it. Power cleans, we did a lot of sets, heavy weights. So that was a really good starter for us, really coming off the break, really just putting us, putting us back in the hole, trying to climb out. Then we went to bench, we were super heavy. A bunch of guys PR with the three board, had an upper body uh, supplementary day. So our supplementary stuff, we're, we're constantly moving, constantly just going from station to station, always getting after it, trying to burn as many calories and get as much volume as we can. Then we went outside and <laughs> got after it a little bit on the half gassers and um, really showed what guys were doing while we were on break. Some guys really committed and uh, really got after it and some guys weren't not. That's a challenge to us leaders to really step them up and really hold them accountable on the weekends and any breaks that we do get. So it's all uh, built in mentally, physically, spiritually in this transformation phase that we really need to take pride in and uh, try to bring everybody along. It's not just about the leaders, not just about the top top guys we got on this team, it's about everybody. All in on me, all in on three. One, two, three. All in. Jog it off, jog off. All the way off. They get the get it, one. See, leadership knows no age. It doesn't matter to us if you're a freshman or a senior when it comes to leadership. So uh, we're just looking for guys to lead by example. You know, we, we ain't looking for you know, boat talkers. We're looking for water walkers, you know, guys that get out there and walk on the water a little bit, be the example. And that's tough. It's tough to do because you got to do it consistently day in and day out. You're about to film the most explosive thing you've seen in your entire life. Hey, grind on me, grind on three. One, two, three. Grind. Duh. Moody chains, money got yards, got the range. Said, put your going yard on the shades. Said, never seen me putting on the brakes. I just going up, moody chains. Good job. Money got yards, got the range. Said, put your going yard. It started off with an agility circuit. Um, we had to open up, obviously warmed up in different groups, bigs, uh, big speed, power and speed. But then we got into seven circuit. We had sled pushes, we had change of directions, we had bag drills, we had ball throws, we had footwork, ladders, hoops, and then we had uh, horizontal and lateral changes. And it was a really intense workout. It was similar to a mat drill, but we'll call it a bat mat. It builds mental toughness because you're not sure when the whistle's gonna, or the, the horn's gonna go off and you gotta work not to an amount of reps before time. And we went to the weight room and got a really good lift in. Some good front squats, uh, deadlift, single legs, and a few auxiliaries, just to keep us honest. Let's go, dominate on three, dominate on me. One, two, three, dominate. Now, we can win a lot, of, a lot of games with talent, but in order to win championships, it takes talent and mental toughness. And the only way that you can become a mentally tough, a mentally uh, tough competitive team is to, is to train tough and to train hard. You still got to train smart, but you got to train hard, and you've got to be committed to the task at hand. And so right now, that's kind of that's where we are really working hard to uh, to develop that competitive and mental toughness, that edge that we'll need uh, going into camp. Today was a good challenging day with some power cleans uh, on the whistle, on command, you know, bats and bats and rules, and uh, got pretty heavy on the bench, you know, and good killer arm day. He took care of us the run a little bit because he knows we got skills and drills and a quick 5:30. So just. 
a couple 200s, yeah, yeah. but nothing too exactly. terrible. One good day on top of another. We're going to be ready, man. We're going to show the world. Right. Let's go. Family on three. Family on me. One, two, three. Family. It's one thing to be motivated, but it's a whole other level to be driven. And, uh, and that's what we're looking for out of transformation. We're looking for guys coming out of the summer who are driven, who are very passionate, who've put in the time. They come out of, of summer with some confidence, knowing that, hey, I, I put my best foot forward. I did my best work. I changed my body. I changed myself mentally, and I became a better player. <laughs> Every Friday as a team, we're always here early in the morning, 5.30 workouts. We split up into eight different groups. We had nine stations, and we rotated it. There was a bunch of agility. Just things to test you, to push you, uh, to get you kind of out of your comfort zone is kind of what we think. We did that as a group, and then once we finished up with our non-stations, we uh, transitioned into the weight room and got a little circuit deal, with a little bit of squats and a little leg day. Appreciate y'all grind. We're to pick each other up. Y'all boys, take care of yourself. Have fun this weekend. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Let's go, man. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Hold it. Focus on the work. Most people like to focus on what the guy to your right is doing because it's overwhelming. You know, you get in here and you just want to look around and see what's going on. But really, the key to success is the focusing on yourself. Um, give it all you've got in conditioning and weights and meetings. Do, more, do a little extra from time to time. That's going to set you apart. Don't be like everybody else and just get to status quo. Don't just make it. Excel. That's what we did. We could be a status quo program, but we're not. We excel. And that's the culture of Clemson uh, as a whole. We want to do better. We want to be more. We want to be great.